palms. They've become a traditional Christian symbol, of course, for uh, this Sunday, Palm Sunday. I find it really unique that they have become such a widely known symbol of, of a religious parade, especially in countries like Canada and the U.S., well, mostly Canada, where they don't grow. We should be using the maple leaf or something. But, you know, what branches would we be throwing at the parade side if it were to happen here? Parades are wonderful. It was interesting seeing who joined in and who didn't, who stands in the crowd and who joins in the parade. Last week was St. Patrick's Day. It's always an occasion for a parade. Remember that? The largest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world, though, isn't held in Ireland. It's in New York City. Did you know that? Do you know where the smallest St. Patrick's Day parade is? It's in a little town in Alabama called Enterprise. <coughs> Seriously. Uh, the parade consists of one designated person each year who steps down from the steps of the city hall and walks to the Bull Weevil Monument and back in the town square in a total length of time of 10 minutes. One person, 10 minutes, in the only town in the world that has a statue to a pest. <laughs> Seriously. How do you know it's a parade? One person walking down the street and back, but it's an official parade. And I say that because <clears throat> these parades are always held to signify something. Santa Claus Day parades, Thanksgiving Day parades. Some communities now have Easter parades. Don't you just love it? There's a parade to signify some event or activity happening. And we have the Palm Parade. The Parade of Palms is called this stuff. Now, interestingly enough, some churches are not celebrating this as much as they used to. They've decided to get rid of Good Friday, and so they're doing the Good Friday stuff on the Sunday, and they've changed the name to Passion Sunday, and they do all the crucifixion stuff today. We're still holding to the older tradition of making you come to church on Friday. <laughs> but the parade had a reason and it had a significance but how many people make a parade in history which recorded the parade one way versus our faith tradition which has this believing that on the day that Jesus entered Jerusalem there were thousands of people lining the streets waiting to see this man and adoring him well, the actual fact of the day is that on the day of, the, of his entry into Jerusalem, Pilate came in by the main gate on a stallion with his armed soldiers, and Jesus entered on a donkey by an ancillary or side gate. And there were some people present. And those people took note of who was coming in. But it wasn't, it was more like Enterprise Alabama than it was like New York City. Who noticed? Who noticed? People that were looking noticed. The rest weren't looking. What were they looking for? Somebody to free them from the Romans. Someone to free from the Romans. Since they were looking for somebody who was as mighty as Pilate. And the belief in the Messiah was that that person was going to be that lordly king and that he would come on a white stallion, not a great donkey. I think it's Shrek. No, sorry. Wrong image. Sorry, I couldn't. <clears throat> One of the worst parts of having my personality is I do that. <laughs> I go down that road. One of my biggest uh, wonders is who really did notice on the day that something had happened? That there was somebody of significance walking amongst them. That there was a change about to happen. But what was the change? They weren't going to get the king. The parade was never about a king. The parade was about saving. Saving from what? Saving from what? 
What do people look for? You thought I'd missed a song today, didn't you? <laughs> you remember this one. describe what the expectation was. There was going to be the one who would lead them in the big battle to get the great prize, the prize being the riches and wealth of their kingdom. And what they got was the guy on the donkey that turned the stone over and said, all there is is peace. And so when we parade about it, we need to parade about the right thing. By the way, that particular song was around a lot a few years ago, but it was most notably used as the theme song for a particular movie called Billy Jack. And you may have never heard of the movie, but it's about a guy who's a, re who's a returned uh, Green Beret from the Vietnamese War. This movie's like 30 years old now who takes on the injustices in a small town and the prejudices against the local Aboriginal people. And in the end, as he's being paraded off through the people, lining the roadways by the police to be taken to prison for having done the social unrest that he needed to do to change the plight of the, of the people, that's the song that gets played. And that is kind of indicative, if you've ever watched the movie, he plays a character that is Christ-like. A lone man who gathers around him people who believe in his ideals of peace. A former soldier turned pacifist. And he holds up these ideals that you stand up for what you believe in. And you don't get taken down by the people's greed and avarice and the rest of the qualities of this world. And the parade that takes him out of, the, out of the movie, out of the scene, is one person walking. One person walking. 
The parade that entered Jerusalem many years ago was not a parade of legions of soldiers. It was not a parade of thousands of people coming in to, re to in introduce a new social order. It was one man walking, walking with his donkey, walking with a symbol, the donkey being, of course, the symbol of a servant. The symbolism of our parade is that these are used to sweep and clean floors. These are used in that country as the mats on which people sleep. These represent the qualities of everyday life. And the man whom they heralded was a man who came to bring in a sense of peace and justice for all. It was not a big parade, but it was one of the most significant parades in history. <clears throat> because it lit a revolution. A revolution that hopefully has not ended. A revolution that, it, that in, infiltrates every heart on this planet and reminds us that what we are about is peace on earth. What we are about is hope and justice for all. What we are about is caring, sharing, living together beyond all sense of earthly treasure. May the Palm Sunday stay with you now and forever. Amen.